friends, I am jumping in to talk to you about client attraction today. This was a question asked um, by somebody in the Thriving and Balanced Freelancers group and I wanted to kind of dive in and explain it a little bit further. So the question was, how do I attract clients that I actually want to work with? And I thought that was really a cool question because I mean we can attract all sorts of clients and I know for the longest time I did I attracted dozens and dozens of clients but they weren't people I wanted to work with um so let's talk about that for a second so there's a few things that I learned um through a strategy side um of things that you can do so that way you're attracting the right kind of people the first thing is to know what their pain points are specifically for them so if you're working with health and fitness coaches what are their pain points that you can come and take care of. So focusing specifically on those and then your messaging, you need to make sure that you're messaging them directly. So the message that you're putting out there makes sense to them. You're speaking their language. You are um, focusing on their needs and their wants. Um, so that way they feel like they are um, getting the support they're looking for. So that's a mindset strategy, I guess, that you want to look at. But there's some really tangible ways of finding these people. And that's what I want to dive into because that's the nice, fun, juicy stuff. Um, so the first thing is I want you to join Facebook groups that your audience will be in. So if you are um, marketing to health and fitness coaches, then get into some Facebook groups where they hang out in, where they're asking questions because you are going to find randomly, they're going to ask for questions like, hey, do you know anybody who's a social media manager? Or I'm thinking about hiring somebody, how do I get started? Or I have this question about social media, can anybody help me? And so those are the questions you're gonna jump into and dive into. You're going to answer all of their questions for free, for fun, um, provide as much value as possible and engage with their posts because People will get to know you and want to work with you because they see that you know your stuff instead of just spamming people and saying, oh, I do this, I can help you, blah, blah, blah. Now, if they are saying that they are looking for a social media manager or they're looking for a copywriter, virtual assistant, whatever service you provide, if they're asking for it, then absolutely drop your links or answer them. Make sure that you're not private messaging them if they've asked you not to. Read their posts completely before you do that. Um, but all of that is definitely things that you can um, look into. The other thing that I would say to do in Facebook groups is do what we call value bombs. This is when you just post, and I know Kim posted one today. Um, it's just a value bomb. It's pure value. There's no real call to action to it. Um, there's no message me for more information. Just here's a load of value for you. I hope this helps. And then jump in, drop that off, engage with people in the comments, answer any other questions that they might have, um, but drop some value in there. That's going to be really great. And the other really cool thing that you can do is anybody who likes or comments on that post, you can send them friend requests. That will just build your... Um, network, which is actually my second point, which is friend requests. Now, I'm going to say this. I am all for growing your, your network and getting lots of Facebook friends to market with and, and network with. That's all fine and dandy. Do not private message spam people. Nobody likes it. Um, so I will never teach that. I will never recommend that you do that. Do not slide into people's DMs unless they ask you to. Um, I will straight up block people or not hire them if they ask me for a job in um, in Messenger um, because that's not even in my hiring post. I say not to message me and I'm very strict about that. I just won't. I won't work with you if you haven't followed the rules. So um, do that. They, when you when you accept them as friends, you're going to do two things. One, you want to remember Facebook's terms of service. It says that you can't market your business through your profile, which means you're going to do a lot of value drops on your profile. You're going to get lots of engagement, ask lots of questions on your, your Facebook profile. You're going to do all that sort of fun stuff um, to build those relationships with your audience, but you're also going to engage on their, uh, <laughs> they're going to also engage on your, uh, their posts as well and give them as much value as possible within there. 
All right, so that's Facebook groups, friend requests. The third one is create a freebie. That is, again, focusing on their pain points and what they need. Focus on that. Um, create a freebie. And then at the very end of that, you want a call to action to book a call. Um, so you can put that right in the downloadable PDF, have a case study or a lead magnet or whatever you want that to be. At the last page, say this is uh, your next steps. This is how you work with me. You can book a call here. Um, and then... Uh, you can create a clickable button so it'll lead them. And if you're doing on your website, the confirmation page can have a link right there um, to fill out a form to, to work with you, to um, meet with you and all that fun stuff. I will say this, and this is a little bit off topic, but it is very valuable. One of the things that I do not do and therefore do not really recommend you do um, is have a a open-ended book a call with me option have a apply to work with me option so that way people can send you their information and then if they are a good fit then you could jump on a call with them it pre-qualifies them ahead of time and it makes your your process a lot easier and eventually at some point um i will i will do a whole training on it, that process and what that looks like so I would do that. The last thing that I recommend that you do, which is something I'm actually doing a lot of right now, which is really fun, is podcasts. Not your own podcast. I mean, if you want to, go for it. It's so much fun. But um, I don't have my own podcast, but I love being on podcasts. One of the things that I do is I go into Facebook groups and I look at what... Um, what people are looking for that is within my niche if it's social media related or business related or agency related mental health related because that's something I do um any of those pieces I look for people looking for guests in those spots and then I apply to work to be on their podcast if you're doing this consistently you're going to find you get on several podcasts it's going to be amazing um you're going to provide as much value as possible and at the end if they will allow you um you can include a freebie, uh, which is why you're going to create one um, in the previous step where you're going to link to your freebie as well so people can learn more information about you and that sort of thing. Um, have a nice handy little link um, there so you can submit that to them and put it in the show notes and all that fun stuff so it gets out in front of them. So those are my top tips for client attraction. If you have other questions, drop them in the comments. I'd love to answer them for you. Um, and uh, let's let's do this. You've got this. It's going to be fun. Oh, am I getting it? Am I not getting it? I don't know. Now I have to call you and I don't want to talk to people. <laughs> that was why I did it online, guys. <laughs>